This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Domain.com. We love the Raspberry Pi, this $25, $35 PC on a single board. It's so tiny, it's so cheap. Came out a couple years ago, and we've seen amazing projects come out of it. It is inspiring. It's a tool, it's just, it, it's an inspiring tool, and it has helped spur curiosity in kids and adults of all ages. And you have your top five stupid Raspberry Pi tricks. I do, so it's kind of too late for Pi Day. Who cares? Wah. Every day is Pi Day. That's true. I, I love pie. <laughs> but I am checking out five silly tricks for the Raspberry Pi that you can do at home. So, you ready, Patrick? I'm ready. Let's do this. The first one is called the lap pie. Not so practical. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's awesome. It the is awesome. The Raspberry Pi netbook, it's the lap pie's goal to turn the Raspberry Pi into something that you could take with you without the need for a wall socket. The Pi, along with a case, a battery, a keyboard, and a few other components, make it into a netbook that you can travel with. <laughs> it's totally <laughs> it doesn't make sense, but it's awesome. It is awesome. And my second one is a main cabinet, because you have to have a main cabinet, right? So this one is a yeah. full-size retro-inspired video game emulator. The creator of this, he actually decided to do it for an 80s-themed birthday party, with all the proceeds going to a local charity. So it actually had like a coin slot on it, and then you could oh, play awesome. all sorts of old games. Well, part of what's so crazy about the Raspberry Pi is it has HDMI, it has audio it out. Does. It is a full-functioning computer on a single board. It just happens to be really fracking small. And cheap. <laughs> and number three is the Raspberry Pi Eggbot. Oh, so no. this is perfect time for Easter, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a Raspberry Pi Eggbot. This robot will create patterns on your Easter eggs. And since you add a Raspberry Pi to the enclosure, it's completely independent of any kind of external computer. So you can do everything just sitting there like on your dining room table. It's really easy to use. I want to build one immediately. I know, it looks so cool. I think this is perfect for kids too. It's really, really fun and so cute. What is the Raspberry Jolt? <laughs> this is one of my favorite ones. Okay, so the Raspberry Jolt, it makes a little Nerf gun shooting Raspberry Pi ro robot with the help of the Romo robot, which is just a little, it looks like an iPhone sitting on top of wheels and it just moves around and you can control it. <laughs> because who doesn't want a Raspberry Pi powered robot that can drive around the office and shoot people with? I thought you guys already Nerf had guns. Nerf gun robots at Hack 5. We have Nerf, maybe. Maybe. Drones. Number five, we're gonna demo with this one right now. I got to actually meet uh, the developer behind this project, ISS Above, last week, Liam Kennedy. This is so cool. What does ISS Above do? Oh. It is awesome, ISS Above. So that stands for the International Space Station. Of course. So it's kind of obvious what it does. It's completely powered by Raspberry Pi. This project by Liam Kennedy is aimed at kids who want to learn more about computers and astronomy. It will blink LEDs each time that the ISS above is above your location on Earth. I love this project because it really makes you think about the fact that astronauts are up there in space right now, right over your head, <laughs> looking down at your location and doing cool research. Okay, I'm kind of an astronomy geek. I really like that kind of stuff. We all are here. So you can purchase your own over at uh, issabove.com, or you can just make your own. So options include using the Pi Glow, which is that little LED blinky board that Patrick is holding right now. Wait, is it above us right now? No, it's not. So okay. when it's blinking green, that means it's uh, 10 minute increments. So it looks like it blinked about five times, so it uh -huh. would be 50 minutes away. Okay. Just about. That's the Pi Glow just doing its weird blinky thing, yeah. not the ISS. Above <laughs> us. Okay. It's not quite there yet. <laughs> There's also the Pi, uh, Pi Light. There's the LED Borg, which is also available. And there's this thing called the Arduino with an RGB LCD display. So this one will give you a little LCD display that you can plug into an Arduino and stick mm -hmm. it next to your Raspberry Pi. It'll give you all the information in a little scrolly screen oh, funny. instead of having to log onto your computer and see it. So, how about I show you how it works? Absolutely. Yeah. So, first off, you have to boot up your Raspberry Pi, obviously. And there's an <laughs> SD card that you have to install into it. The SD card has all the Python scripts on it to make this actually work. And then you find your ad, uh, IP address with a program called Nmap. So, I'll do this real quick for you so you can see how it works. If you go into your control panel, you'll see whatever, uh, whatever local network that you're logged on to. You go to your adapter settings double click on Wi-Fi, click details, and it'll bring up this list. So you go to IPv4 gateway, default gateway, and that shows you whatever your, basically your router's IP address. After that, you open your command prompt and you type in this command once you install Nmap from Nmap's website, TAC SP, and then whatever your router's IP address is, 
So mine is 192.168.1, and I add a zero at the end, slash 24. I won't get into the specifics. There's a lot going on here with that code. <laughs> you press Enter, and it'll go ahead and start a scan of your IP addresses to find out what's on your local area network. So Shannon, because she's a super geek, is using Nmap to find the, the IP address for the Raspberry Pi. You could just look up the IP address inside of your router if you're a little frightened of the command line. You shouldn't be, though. Embrace the command line. So we'll see my Raspberry Pi right here. It says Nmap scan report for 192.168.1.120. So that is my Raspberry Pi. So when I type that into my computer's browser, 168.1.120, I see this information, ISS above. Isn't that cool? That's really so cool. it shows me not only whenever it's going to be above me, but it also shows me what area in the sky it will be at, what time it'll be at its highest point, what time it's going to end, whenever it's going to go over the horizon, and basically so like awesome. set. And then it'll tell me what kind of pass type it is. So in the daylight, we can't really see anything, obviously. It's right. too bright in the sky to see the ISS. But at night. But at night, Sometimes you can actually see it, so it'll tell you night visible. That means you can go outside when it's passing you overhead, and you can see it blinking across I mean, the sky. Are we looking for a flash, a blink, an actual little tiny ISS shape? Pretty sure thing? it's solid because it's being reflected off of the sun. The panels. So on sometimes it. when you're seeing a shooting star, it's actually the International Space Station. It's quite possible. Oh my goodness! It's amazing. <laughs> I love this. I, I got so geeked out about it. That's mine currently running right now. I took some video earlier of it actually flashing mm -hmm. when it was going overhead, so you can see what it looks like. And Very this, cool. There are so many accessories for the for the Raspberry Pi out now. If you have not played with a Raspberry Pi, you should think about getting one. I had a lot of fun with this project, and I can't wait to see what you guys are doing with your own Raspberry Pis if you guys have one. So tweet at Techzilla, definitely, and we have more of your emails still to come. But first, it's time to thank one of our sponsors. If you haven't yet, you should really try out Domain.com. It's one-stop shopping for all of your domain name and web hosting needs. They are awesome! Domain.com's simple search quickly shows you available domain names and web hosting options, making it easy to select the domain extension and hosting plan that's right for you. It has a really easy checkout that smooths the process, erases the hassle, and it keeps you from saying, huh, how does this thing work? And the folks at Domain.com are hooking you up. At checkout, use the coupon code TECHZILLA for 20% off your purchase. That's an amazing offer.